My name's Michelle, the menopausal sewer. Today I'm going to be speaking about um, the I Am Patterns Pan Top um, and what I've been up to over the weekend. So please, if, you're, if, if you're interested, please stay tuned, um, like and subscribe. Thank you. As I said, I'm going to be talking about the I Am Patterns Pan Top. Now, this is a really nice top. A really nice sew it came together really really easy um however a lot of it i had to work out myself because i'm just going to show you the instructions of what what they are excuse the rustling so that's the first lot of instructions there shows you how to place it out on a excuse me shows you how to place it out on the fabric how to do buttonhole what you need to do first uh making the top up and cutting out instructions and that basically is and then you've got stitch terms there what the stitch terms are there so yeah and then on the back you've got there but if you look here let me, if I can show you a bit closer, it tells you it doesn't go step one, two, three. It goes step two, one, step one, step one up here again, step two, step two, and then over here again. You've got step one again over here. So I don't. There's there's no fluent instructions. It goes from one to the other, to the other, to the other, to the other, to the other. And then it doesn't exactly explain an awful lot about attaching the front bit there and attaching the back bit there. If you're not an experienced or um, intermediate sewer, if you're a beginner, you would get lost in this pattern, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say I'm experienced, but I'd say I'm intermediate. But as I said, I had to work it out for myself. Um, if you're willing to work it out for yourself, then that's that's fine if you can. But here we go. I chose some orange buttons, as you can see. Some tiny ones. And, yeah. I do like, I do like the pattern. It's similar to the nail top apart from the neck part. Um, it hangs to about here on me. So excuse my belly there. Um, but it's a really warm day out in, in Birmingham at the minute. Um, 28 degrees expected again today. So yeah, um, I do like that pattern. It was a really nice sew up, but it was um it's just the instructions the instructions was up were appalling so yeah um so i sewed that up um and then over the weekend i became a little bit poorly um with my face i don't know if you can tell but i have swelling here and i've got a big fat ear here you've heard of big my big fat greek wedding well i've got a big fat greek ear um yes so um i went to the doctors yesterday he sent me up to the hospital he then who then i went to good Hope hospital which is in uh Sutton coalfield who then transferred me over to uh heartland hospital where the ear nose and throat people are and then they said I've got shingles in my ear. How you get shingles in your ear, I don't know. Um, but they do say they did say it is part and parcel of having a low immune system due to the medication I was taking for um, my knees and my fingers last week. Um, I had to take um, Metarex, which is um, a high, highly antibiotic or, or whatever it is for um, rheumatoid arthritis. So it's asked me to stop taking that. 
uh, while I'm ta while I'm having the intercourse for antivirals for my um, shingles, and then I've got to keep away from my dad and my mother-in-law and father-in-law for two weeks just to be on the safe side, and my grandchildren. It's going to kill me. It really is. However. I can use those two weeks to do lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sewing, which is I'm grateful for in a way because um, although I do do a lot of sewing and I do get a lot done, um, there are quite a few things out of my um, pattern stash that I want to do and I want to get my um, fabric stash down as well also. Um, I won't be able to go to my sewing social tonight, which I'm really, really upset about. Um, as I do enjoy that, and I was hoping that my neighbour, um, and the so ladies from the social group was going to help me, um, attach my um, wadding to Katie's quilt for with me. However, that's not going to happen, so I'm going to have to ask um, late flat in the living room and ask my husband to help me out with it because I can't kneel down on the floor. Um, or I might be able to get my table out into my daughter's room and lay it out flat that way. Because I have one of the IKEA tables that lift up either side and goes into like a, un um, a storage unit in the middles of each side and if I open it up it will be enough for my daughter's quilt to be laid out on which uh, yeah I might get I might have to do that do it that way and get them to help me um, pin it together for me so that would be a help um, the next thing also will be um, I'm I'm halfway through doing the um Frankie t-shirt um I'll put it on the um on barrel layer and I'll show you yeah so the Frankie t-shirt I've got sewn up um I've done the raglan sleeves which I'm quite happy about the um the matching although I probably could have done a bit better but there you go there's the matching there as well on the arms Probably could have done a little bit better on this side, but it's done now. Um, it's much better on the back than it is on the front, to be honest. So, there you go. Um, I've just got the sleeves to sew up. Yeah, I'm turning around, barrel round. Just got the sleeves to sew up and the side seams. And then I'm going to put binding, white binding, around the edges i do think now now looking at it i do think blue would do nicely but i do i just fancy white for a change although i don't know whether it's a good thing to do but so it's so i don't lose the length really i'll just put the binding on and it might help it drop a little bit but i might leave it for a couple of days to to drop properly um because it's jersey and it's a thin jersey at that you pro probably see my hands through it. Oh, let's have a look so we can see this a bit better. It's not that actually it's not that safe. I can see it a little bit there. Um, but yeah, um this has been a nice sew as well, um, to be honest. It's quite simple. Um you just sew these the raglan sleeves to the front and the back and um, just making sure that you do the notches because of the way the sleeve is constructed because one side's shorter than the other and also the front one side is higher at the back than it is at, like at the front so you've got two notches at the back for the back and one notch at the front for the front um yeah, and then you've got notches either side to match up um, here, so the side seams. So yeah, that's been a it's that's been a nice sew. So, um, I started it yesterday morning before I went to um, 
the hospital and I thought oh I might have a nice early morning um just getting getting something sewn up and it never worked out like that so yeah anyway this has just been a quick quick one for the for today um I have cut out um the Kiko jacket in this lovely sorry for the rustling in this lovely knit I don't know if you can see it um I'm I'm gonna use it yeah that's better because the glare of the windows on there so that you can see it better there yeah oh better there that's better that side um as I'm going to use it as a cardigan more than as a as a, than as a coat. Um, but it's all, the Kiko is also used as a... Let me just get the pattern out, sorry. The Kiko is also going to... Excuse me. It's also going to... It can be used as a dressing gown as well. So I'm going to use it more of a, this one. But if I've got enough fabric left over which I think I might have I might make a belt for it so in it I'll make it look more like a cardigan so I've got that already cut out and if I've got time or if I've got the inclination I might actually finish off my um style like ethel top which needs to be taken in um on the inner bits i'm going to do the inner bits and the back bits just to make it even out um because it's like it goes in triangles and yeah because i'm not going to be beating on that top because i do like it so uh, but it might be one of those ones that you're not going to be beaten by it but when it's done you don't like it so i'm hoping it's not going to be but yeah anyway i'm going to love and leave you for today um i hope you've all had a nice weekend and um i will see you friday uh or saturday for friday shows um i've had a lovely flurry of people um subscribe and um yeah, excuse me hi sorry about that the door knocked um yeah um as i was saying i had a i've had a lovely flurry of subscribers come through and this is due to the fact that jen from today in jen's sewing room who started off the friday um hashtag friday sews has now set up a facebook account um and it's called hashtag friday sews so um yes i i joined the group and through that group i've had a few flurry a little flurry of subscribers um and um there are a few new uh, vloggers on there which i do want to mention and one is called um thread stitch so and the other one is violet my handmaid who have both subscribed to my channel and I said I would give them a shout out and um, please go across and have a look at them because they've only, both of them have only got a few um, subscribers at the moment and also they have um, only just started vlogging and I understand how that feels when you're first vlogging, you're eager to get people going. Uh, I still am eager to get people subscribing and um yeah please just go across and subscribe to them and i would be grateful also if you're still watching but not subscribing to my channel please go ahead and like and subscribe and um look forward to seeing you on friday shows bye hi i've just come back on again just to say um there are a few more um people that i wanted to just give a shout out to um 
these are new all new vloggers and from um the new hashtag um Friday sews on Facebook. So there is Sam and Caitlin. Sorry, I've got my notes down here. Sam and Caitlin at Violet May Handmade. Leslie, the sewing circle, and Mandy from Make It So. Um, as I said, I'll put put them in the description, and uh, you just go over and have a look at their channels. Um, the majority of everybody that I've spoke of um, give a shout out to are all new vloggers and um, looking for subscribers. So please go over and check them out. It would be lovely. Um, this community sewing community is one of the best communities I've been in and um, thank you for subscribing to me own, my own channel um, all of these ladies have subscribed to my channel as well so please go over and subscribe to theirs thank you very much bye <laughs>